In 2009 Christopher Koch, a Norwegian student, invested $26.60 in 5,000 Bitcoin. He thought nothing more about them until 2013 when media coverage prompted him to check his wallet. He discovered that his Bitcoin were now worth $886,000. Today those 5,000 Bitcoin are worth $75.5 million. Bitcoin is hovering around the $15,000 mark as of today. Bitcoin is predicted to rise to over $20,000 by the end 2020, possibly before and possibly worth more. Getting involved in the Bitcoin revolution is easier than you might think and you do not need to buy one whole Bitcoin to get going. Bitcoin may or may not be a good investment for you. But before investing in something you should know what it is, and most people don't have a clue how Bitcoin works. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a speculative asset, not a currency. Bitcoin isn't a currency, and hasn't been one since 2014 when the Internal Revenue Service deemed Bitcoin to be an asset rather than a currency with notice 2014-21. Ergo, every time a Bitcoin changes hands a capital gains disposition is triggered for US tax purposes, the same thing happens whenever someone sells a stock or a house. This means that Bitcoin, in the US at least, cannot function as a currency. Bitcoin is an asset. Many people don't know this, and they will be sorely disappointed when the Internal Revenue Service audits them. And those that do know are now bidding up Bitcoin's price with the intention of flipping it for a profit, as they would any other non-yielding asset. For this reason, Bitcoin should be thought of not as a store of value, but as a speculative asset, like a house or a lump of gold. The safer, long-term, investment will probably be shares in companies, which are both inflation-proof and have intrinsic value, or physical assets, like property. This isn't investment advice, it's simply an observation based on history. Bitcoin bills itself as a true digital currency, a medium of exchange with which people from around the world can buy and sell things, without the pesky, and sometimes expensive, mediation of banks. Its primary selling points are twofold. One. The very nature of blockchain technology ensures that bitcoins can never be counterfeited, hacked, or stolen. 2. Bitcoins cannot be printed arbitrarily by a central bank like US dollars or British pound sterling can, and it is therefore immune to the inflationary crises that plague fiat currencies. Furthermore, the number of bitcoins that can ever be generated by mining them using computing power is finite, there is a maximum number of bitcoins. In this day and age, investors and people in business have a lot of choices where they can invest their resources to have more money. One of them is a cryptocurrency, the industry that took the world in a storm for the past decades. If you are still part of the people comfortable watching others make a fortune from cryptocurrency and you're still skeptical or not sure if it is safe to jump into the bandwagon well this is for you. Do you know how much BTC you could buy with $100 in the past? It might be shocking to some that just six years ago, you could buy half a Bitcoin at $100 price point. And one year before that, you could pocket a whole coin for the same amount. This goes to show just how fast the price of Bitcoin has increased over the past few years. And while no one can predict the future, it is safe to say that this trend is expected to increase. The concept of digital monies that people send to and fro online is not that complicated in itself, after all, transferring money from one online bank account to another is doing exactly that. Cryptocurrencies use blockchain technology, a way of sending data in cyberspace, to do this. But, different from normal currencies like dollars and pounds, cryptocurrencies are decentralized, which means they are not regulated by a financial authority, like a government or central banks. This brings some advantages, cryptocurrencies are global, meaning they have the same value in every country. This feature makes them much easier to transfer from person to person across the globe, without the headache of exchange rates. The big disadvantage of digital assets such as Bitcoin and the like is that they are shockingly volatile and there have been reports that people have had to wait to get their cash out because of technical snarl-ups. Currently Bitcoin is a wild ride and investors in my investment community are currently on the Atomic Profit Referral Plan, in fact in recent investment opportunities I have been able to share with my investment community. Majority of my members made a whooping 40% profit this month alone on investment opportunity that traditionally pays 20%. Since its inception in 2010, Bitcoin was the first digital asset to beget an entire ecosystem of cryptocurrencies. 
For quite some time, it grew an underground following of investors who seemed very interested in its future as a possible replacement to the physical monetary system, as traditional institutional players curiously watched its development. While we are still likely many years away from a complete transition, the crypto space has been a fairly volatile playground. During the ascension and adoption of crypto, many people launched ICOs individual coin offerings, akin to offering a new stock without any supervision or regulation. During this time, Bitcoin led the charge to a valuation of nearly $20,000 per coin in 2017, but then its value steadily declined over the course of 2018 and settled in the range of $3,500 to $4,000 for quite some time. After witnessing the meteoric rise and subsequent fall of Bitcoin's value, many folks became gun-shy about investing in cryptocurrencies. However, recent activity has caused Bitcoin's value to significantly rise at the time of this writing and has caught the attention of many existing and would-be investors. During the past couple of years, the crypto market has matured with more oversight and regulatory controls in place by both institutions and government agencies. As a result of these measures and more institutional dollars supporting the industry, more people are now seeking ways to reduce their risk while still seizing a profitable ROI. Here are some tips on how to successfully invest in cryptocurrencies from industry experts. Diversify your risk when investing in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. In today's instant gratification, microwave results society, many people are looking, again, to time the crypto market and win big, almost with a win the lottery type of mentality. However, Parul Gujral says this is a recipe for probable disaster. In my video interview with the CEO of Snowball, Gudrill agrees that you can still win big if you time the market just right, but as many people experienced in 2018, you can also lose big just as quickly. He believes the key to success when it comes to investing in cryptocurrency is to diversify your risk by investing in a pool of cryptocurrencies that are vetted by financial professionals, just like your 401k accounts or index funds. With our mobile app, we let you invest in cryptocurrencies or digital assets like Warren Buffett wants you to invest in stocks through the S&P 500. Warren Buffett, Ray Dalio and even Tony Robbins in his book, Money Master the Game, all recommend index investing. By investing in an index, the fees and risk are much lower, it's tax-optimized and you can typically outperform the market, Gudrill said. The recommendation of investing in an index fund means you're not putting all your eggs in one basket, like many people did when they invested in a single coin or ICO and lost big when the cryptocurrency market deflated in 2018. Paul Veriditicat, a partner at Pantera Capital, also recommends the concept of diversifying cryptocurrency investments. I think if you're an individual investor, it makes sense to try to diversify as much as possible just because there is a lot of risk in cryptocurrency and a lot of volatility, and you want to make sure that you have a basket of them and hopefully hit on one of the investments that will do very well. However, most people only have access to invest in crypto funds or indices if they are an accredited investor, someone who makes over $200,000 for two plus consecutive years and or has $1 million of assets, not counting primary real estate. This means the novice or average person typically doesn't have the ability to invest in a crypto fund. It's a major reason why Gudrill founded Snowball and hopes his app will help democratize access to the best crypto fund and index strategies. He believes the average investor should be able to wisely invest in the cryptocurrency sector with less friction and reduced risk. Invest through regulated professionals. Another challenge is finding those financial professionals who can effectively research and recommend a portfolio of cryptos that provide a steady return on investment ROI, while minimizing your exposure to a bear, or down, market. There are a plethora of options when it comes to cryptocurrency apps and investment platforms, but one of the differentiating factors investors should seek when working with financial professionals are those who have earned Registered Investment Advisor RIA, status by the Securities Exchange Commission. This was the Nomad Economist. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.